All right, screaming at the top of your lungs. Oh, that is something I did today. I didn't want to disturb people in the hotel here. I was trying to sign on to NFL ticket, and I literally put my hand over my mouth, and I was just like, why is this so f***ing difficult? Okay, hey, Bill. Lady listener here. I've been a big fan for over a year now. Sorry I'm late to the party, and thanks for the laughs. I'm an opera singer. Well, geez, Louise, I mean, you guys are some of the best singers on the planet. You guys are like, you know, whatever auto-tune is, you, you guys are the opposite of that. Um... I'm an opera singer, so keeping my voice healthy is a top priority in my field. Watching your specials, I'm amazed how you can scream so much during your shows and seemingly never become hoarse. I definitely, if I do a couple of shows, you know, if I do like five or six shows, I will definitely get hoarse. Or if I screw up and come from uh, my voice box area as opposed to my diaphragm. I will be in trouble. Uh, my question for you is, how have you lasted all these years without completely destroying your voice? I'd love to know your secret. Uh, it is no secret, and I'm actually scared that you're, con- as someone who sings professionally, that you're afraid for me. Um, so, uh, watching the replay here. Did we sack him? Did we sack him? Did we sack him? Did we? S- yes, baby! Woo! Fuck you! Love it. Dolphins back to punt from their own 41 yard line. Come on, take it back one time, one time. Just take it back here. Nice kick, nice kick. Doesn't fair catch. Sidesteps the first guy. We got a white guy, and he is on the ground. That was all right. I think he's kind of fast. All right, here we go. Mac Jones coming out for the second possession. Um, I actually messed up my voice early on in my career, imitating how my dad would cough and then try to draw air in. He made this really crazy sound that I, I still won't do because it, I, I can't even do it anymore. But I did it every night on stage as part of a bit back when people smoked in the clubs and I didn't realize I was destroying my voice. I can't even do the impression anymore. So um, I know I've done damage over the years probably, but um, early on, I was really, you know, you know, when I wanted to yell, I just came from my throat. So I actually took singing lessons from this old guy in Boston that barely charged any money on like Comav way back in the day. And the, and the rumor was that early on, he actually helped Steven Tyler with his voice. And if you notice the difference, between, and I don't know if that's true or not, but if you notice the difference between Steven Tyler's voice on the first album Aerosmith versus Get Your Wings. Um, his voice sounds way better on the second one and sounds different. Like the first album, it doesn't even sound like him. And I think he probably, you know, heard his voice and eventually went to this guy. But whatever, the guy was great. And he kind of taught me how basically to yell and not come from uh, my voice, my throat area. That's how... I, tr- I try to avoid it. Um, you know, and there's other tricks that I can just do, like like not yelling and just being silly or whatever. But I will be honest with you. The fact that you're wondering how I haven't done permanent damage, destroying my voice, uh, it actually makes me a little concerned. Maybe because I've screamed my whole fucking life. I have a stronger f- <laughs> vocal cords. <laughs> They've been training. I don't know. I have, I have a temper, so I don't know. Maybe maybe that's it. I have no idea. So, anyway, plowing ahead here. 